that. Oh, mm -hmm. those are your boys and you let them talk about your boys. That's not what y'all mad about. That's not what you're mad about. Oh, yeah. you're not even a journalist. He could have got so much meat off the bone. You're not mad about that. Right. You're mad that 27 million people to the right now, mm. my part, my subscribers on Club Shay Shay jumped up 500,000. Mm. That's what you mad about. You mad about now all of a sudden my IG. I'm over 3 million in that. That's what you mad about. The potential. Man, y'all know what's going to happen now? Man, mm -hmm. somebody might come throw a boatload. Or unk might be. That's what you mad about? Yeah. But when you, was, when you was biting the apple, I never said anything negative about y'all. I gave you I gave you y'all credit. I never criticized anybody yeah. because I look. The way I look at it, Ocho, everything I saw my brother do, I said I can do it. Right. You know why? Because he lived in the same house I lived in. He got mm -hmm. rained on just like I did. He right. had to go outside to the woods to go to the bathroom just like I did. So, hell, if he went to college, why can't I? If he yeah. go to the NFL, why can't I? Mm -hmm. So, if I see you guys do something, you do it. You're damn right I believe I can do it. Yeah. But you think, you don't, hey, look at this. I got this out the mud. I came from the trenches. Right. And you got more hate in your heart. With all that you got, that you've yeah. been blessed with so much, and all you do is hate on a man that you think better. How about get better? Create better content. Mm. I'm going to tell you this, and I'm going to leave it alone, Ocho. Yes, sir. And this for hey, everybody hey, that's hey, out sir. there. You preach, you preach it right now. Just Go because you're first to do something, that don't mean you're the best at it. Listen to me again. I already spoke on Cat. Cat a real one. He spoke his mind. Everybody should speak their mind. That's just what it is. I wouldn't let him. I wouldn't let him go hard as he did on a lot of people on our show. I just wouldn't because we got relationships with him. That's just what it is. That's just what it is. You don't have a show, so you wouldn't know what you would do. We've done many, We've done hundreds of shows, so we know how to handle that type of shit. Oh, guy, that he got so much. He always has something to say. Right now, this is the same guy. You know what? I ain't gonna even no. Look here. I like that. Sometimes people, sometimes success, the only success they get to taste is taking a bite out of you. Mm. Leave them alone. Leave them alone. I'm doing okay. what I'm doing. Oh, mm -hmm. those are your boys and you let them talk about your boys. That's not what y'all mad about. That's not what you're mad about. Oh, yeah. you're not even a journalist. He could have got so much meat off the bone. You're not mad about that. Right. You're mad that 27 million people to the right now. Mm. My part, my subscribers on Club Shay Shay jumped up 500,000. Mm. That's what you mad about. You mad about now all of a sudden my IG. I'm over 3 million in that. That's what you mad about. The potential. Man, y'all know what's going to happen now? Man, mm -hmm. somebody might come throw a boatload. Or unk might be. That's what you mad about. Yeah. But when you, was, when you was biting the apple, I never said anything negative about y'all. I gave you, I gave you y'all credit. I never criticized anybody right. because I look the way I look at it, Ocho. Everything I saw my brother do, I said I can do it. Right. You know why? Because he lived in the same house I lived in. He mm -hmm. got rained on just like I did. He right. had to go outside to the woods to go to the bathroom just like I did. So hell, if he went to college, why can't I? If he yeah. go to the NFL, why can't I? Mm -hmm. So if I see you guys do something, you do it. You're damn right. I believe I can do it. Yeah. But you think you don't? Hey, look at this. I got this out the mud. I came from the trenches, right. and you got more hate in your heart with all that you got that you've yeah. been blessed with so much, and all you do is hate on a man that you think better. How about get better, create better content? Mm. I'm gonna tell you this, and I'm gonna leave it alone, Ocho. Yes, sir. And this man, hey, hey, that's hey, out there. you preach it. You preach it right now. Nick. Just Go because you're first to do something, that don't mean you're the best at it. Listen to me again. So there you have it. You heard what Steven Jackson had to say and you heard why Shannon Sharp went on on the guy. So Shannon Sharp, he made it a conscious effort not to uh, say Steven Jackson's name, although he was pissed because he was like, yeah, I'm not about to give him that extra exposure because I would do him a service while he's trying to tear me down. So first, let's start with Steven Jackson. Overall, I like the guy. I like the content. I, I really like all the smoke. And I think it can be funny at times, although that would not be the first time he was actually throwing shots at people in the same space as him. He did it with Gilbert Arenas, he did it with Stephen A. Smith, he did it, he did it with Kwame Brown, and now Shannon Sharp. 
So I think it's fair to say, I don't know if I'm going to call him a hater, but he was definitely, you know, saying some petty stuff because there is also another clip of Steven Jackson that came before what I actually played when he was saying, so if you let a guy go on your platform and um, go out everyone, this is how you get 25 million views. That sounded super salty when he said that, you know, but it is what it is. And I believe this is where Shannon Sharp actually beats all these guys and why Club Shay Shay is so big is because I feel like most of the interviewers slash journalists or even pro athletes, ex-pro athletes, the mistake that they do is two, two of them. The first one, they care way too goddamn much about the relationships and they'll put quote unquote being real and the relationships over the people. While on the other hand, Shannon is all for the people. Shannon Sharp, when he walked into the interview, he was like, all right. I know that people want to hear this. He saw the energy that Cat Williams brought and it was like, okay, so let him shine. I'm not about to be like, oh, I'm cool with Steve Harvey. I talked to Kevin Hart, Cedric the Entertainer. He, he didn't do any of that. He was like, oh man, so he's going in and we step back and give actually the space to the people while others would have tried to keep it real and maybe either they would have stopped Cap Williams or they would have, behind the scenes, they would have been like, oh, I don't know if I can put this out or let me ed edit this and out, you know? And then they would have bragged about it about how real they are when this is not what this is about. If you're in that space, putting the content out for the people's consumption, you have to think about your customers first, which are the people. And Shannon Sharp is great at it and you can see the numbers. Uh, also, uh, Shannon Sharp, what, he, what he's really great at is that people are giving people the space to be who they are and provide a safe space. Because it's a lot of interviewers, for example, that I really like too. And when you watch the interviews, they always feel like, okay, so since this is my platform, the people are here to watch me also, which in a way is not false, but sometimes they kind of over talk the guest and we're not here just for you. Like you have your own content that we like to check, but it's about the guest this time. Otherwise, why would you bring on the guest, you know? And Shannon Sharp, he was like, oh yeah, Cat Williams is going, let me take that step back. But when he's on Nightcap, you can see that Shannon Sharp is, is talking because that's his show. So Shannon Sharp knows how to play the role. And the other genius of Shannon Sharp is really the safe space that he's been able to curate. And when Cat Williams said, you have a great product and I was only willing to come sit down and talk to you because of that safe space that you've been able to create. It made me think, what did Shannon actually do to create that safe space? Behind, um, be, beside the fact that he's just Shannon Sharp and he, he's just onk, you know? Like it feels like he's friendly with everyone, super funny and all that stuff. And for me, the answer was the Brittany Renner episode. When he did it, stay with me, stay with me, just like uh, Ultra would say. When he did it, I was like, why would he even bring her on? Like, I, I get it, the entertainment or whatever, but what does she do? We don't want to hear about Brittany Renner. But still, if you pay attention to what Shannon did the whole episode, besides when she said, yeah, I had 635, man, he did not judge a single thing that he said. He was just out there having fun commentating. And I think this is what showed Cat Williams and a bunch of people that, oh yeah, this is actually a real safe space. Like, Shannon did not try to make her look bad. While other people who had her on the show, it was like about, oh yeah, I'm going to put that woman back in her place, which is nonsense. We don't want to see that on TV. It's just, you know, it's just chaos and malfunction. So Shannon Chop has been able to curate that, that safe space that will lure in anyone. And now people are mad. People are mad. And when you look at a guy like Steven Jackson, it's a shame because he's been able to accomplish a lot of great things with all of the smoke. Like, for example, he had Will Smith on there after the slap. That was huge. Now, Will Smith didn't go out there and talk that crazy, but you know, like he had Will Smith, he had Magic Johnson, like he, he's had a lot of crazy guests. He had Kobe's last interviews, he had Steph Curry on there, KD, like, you know, like he's doing his thing. So yeah, there's no, there's no reason to go out there and throw shade. And I understand that the more people get in that space and the higher the, the, the profiles, none of these guys are going like on tour, uh, going and stopping at all of these podcasts. They'll only do one show. So it can only be one that gets them. And right now it's Shannon's turn. But when it was your turn, Shannon Trump, just like you said, he gave you your props. And you, you're over there trying to tear him down. So that's not a good look on Steven Jackson's uh, end. 
So anyways, these are my thoughts. We're going to end the video right here. Get in the comment section and tell me, first of all, if you agree with me that Shannon was indeed talking about Steven Jackson. If not, who was he talking to in your opinion? Uh, and then let's break down what Shannon Sharp's secret sauce. Like, do you agree with my theory about Britney Renner or just the safe space or what is it? So if you made it this far, please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Appreciate you guys for checking me out. I'm out. I'll see you guys later. Peace.